Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist, uh, NestJS Advanced Course 2023. And in this playlist, we have already covered the uh, first module. In the first module, we talked about uh, mostly on the dynamic modules, building blocks, the, the core concepts of the NestJS. And now I'm going to start module two. That is from yesterday I started recording and this is all we are going to cover. I mean, there, there, there are lots of topics. I'm just trying to document things so that I can remember these are the topics I need to track in the module 02. So what we are covering first is dockerizing nest JS application, then error validations and uh, payload validations using uh, uh, validation pipes. And I mean, we are using class validator, class transformer for that. Then uh, my rest of the content on this module uh, deals with the ORMs like type or um, miko or um, uh, nex prisma sqlize uh, mongodb for mongoose for mongodb these are the different orm odm we are going to use for our applications so mostly there are three common things we are going i'm going to cover i will be building the whole end to end api systems using these different orms and I already have a separate playlist uh, database ORM world if you wanted if you are interested and already uh, and wanted to explore in advance then you can take a look onto that but I will be covering some latest uh, changes in the type ORMs Prisma in the detail because how we are writing the APIs with the nest JS and the Prisma because there will we will be using Prisma client we will be talking about the Prisma transaction we'll be talking about the prisma pagination similarly uh, this th these things can be tracked with each and every orm let's say the type orm type orm paginations with the key and offset type orm transactions type orm relationships in the entities same concepts if we talk about the prisma for the prisma we specify the prisma schema right and there we specify the relationships and all and then uh, how we define the prisma transactions uh, pr prisma relationships and how we just build the APIs, how we are doing query the, the Prisma and paginations key offset with the Prisma. Similarly, we have a type ORM SQLize is uh, SQLize I have covered uh, in my earlier videos. SQLize I will just cover one or two videos how we integrate uh, NestJS with the SQLize which is an ORM same as the type ORM and then uh, DynamoDB and Next. Next is the lightweight uh, query builder not like proper ORM but it can also be used to build the APIs and then we have a MongoDB and we will be using Mongoose Miku ORM, DynamoDB, SQLize, Type ORM, Prisma ORM so it's going to be fun because uh, we are going to cover uh, various these tools and technologies with our uh, project setup and uh, we are going to play with the same set of APIs using Prisma using type ORM using SQLize and then you can just differentiate this the the syntax how we are doing with the type ORM like type ORM migrations then Prisma migration then SQLize migration right similarly the type ORM paginations then uh, Prisma paginations then uh, SQLize paginations how we do it so obviously I won't be covering each and everything in such depth because this is advanced course and I already covered all these topics somewhere so we will take some demo examples and we'll try to play with uh, these nestgs with the type orm sqlize and all so this is pretty much i'm going to start uh, from today this is all about uh, how we are going to do with the module 2 and the module 3 it's all about it's a small module which i will be talking about the testing unit test integration tests and uh, end to end tests and with this we will also talk about the session management session management is in the nest yes okay uh, let's say you do the session management using cookies using JWT token local strategy passport strategy and uh, how we are building the auth card right auth card how we are uh, authenticating using external services authentication and authorization and uh, then express based session how we are managing the cookies and how we are creating these GWT tokens so maybe you want to build a simple authentication service that we will try to cover with these different GWT strategy local strategy uh, passport strategy firebase strategy all I mean it's like a combination of package which mostly talks about authentication and authorization 
using different plugins different tools and technologies that's our the next motive and uh, then we'll talk about the integrations and also it's like uh, i have created the content till module 2 that i'm going to publish uh, slowly and slowly and then we'll i will create the module 4 which is going to talk about the integrations okay what all different integrations we can do then there are some advanced topics about the web sockets uh, nest js microservices if we talk about how i try to divide uh, all these concepts based on what you see here in the the nest js documentation so here if you see we will be done with the nest js graphql web sockets nest js microservices nest js security that we will be covering uh, in authentication authorization right then fundamentals we have already covered we'll just talk about the lifecycle hook execution context and injection stop mode dynamic modules we have already covered security techniques it's all about okay how we are managing the cookies how we are managing the asynchronous events how we are scheduling the task how we are caching the data in at the apis and then how we are doing the database validations and these are the databases right database mongodb prisma and all that we are already covering in module 2 and how we can manage the express session how we can stream file how we can upload file how we can deal with asynchronous events and server sent events how we can write your own custom logger how we can use uh, these queues to offboard some kind of a task so yeah lots of fun right but i will be using this uh, left sidebar to track my content also okay these all these advanced things has been covered and then uh, this is how we are going to go forward i will be talking about the web sockets in the detail because web sockets i haven't covered and i am seeing that audience is interested in learning web sockets with the nest js graphql yes i have covered a lot i will be using that content security yes uh, i will add some more content on to that so we are going module by module so without talking much let's stay tuned and connect in the next video and we will be talking about dockerizing the nest js application using uh, docker right we can just create an sgs container we are already using uh, the container for the postgres but how can you dockerize a simple nest js application which is same is nothing but a simple node.js app okay uh, let's see you in the next video